What is going on everybody? It is your boy DJWars22 and today I'm going to be giving you tips for new Diablo 2 players, specifically rune words. <laughs> All right, guys, so yesterday I uploaded a video, Diablo 2 tips, and man, it's been a pretty good hit. I think uh, in like 12 hours, we've already hit 1,500 views, so I figured, okay, obviously there's some new Diablo 2 players out there, which I'm very excited about, and, you know, they want to learn something else, and people asked a lot about rune words. Hey, DJ, can you help me with rune words? Can you, can you give me some advice? Can you show me some new things? And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. I know plenty of rune words, especially lower level rune words, so what I'm going to do today for you is show you the easier rune words, the ones that I use specifically for me, not the whole list, but the ones that I like to use, and then we'll get to a little bit more advanced ones, things that you can do in the long term. All right, everybody, so let's first get into real quick, what is a rune word? So a rune word is something like this, right? Uh, you see how it says spirit at the top? Like there's like a specific order of runes that you have to use. You got to use the Tau, the Thol, the Ort, the Am. You'll be able to see that on the third or fourth line right there. And if you put them in that specific order, the recipe, you will create something fabulous, right? You take a crappy ass shield um, like this one, right? And what does it really have on it? Nothing. 13 defense, 32% uh, chance to block. But when you add runes to it in a specific order and the right runes, it makes something awesome. So the first rune word that I want to show you is called lore. Here it is, lore. Ort and soul rune will make that. Now I'm showing you this first because to me this is like the most useful. This is either the number one or the, the second rune word that I go for personally. It is uh, level 27 so that may be a little bit harder for you. But I mean it's it's pretty fucking amazing. Like one to all skills, um, the, the resistance helps. And you know of course little other things. But for me the one to all skills is awesome. I love it. I mean an ort and a soul. Sometimes a soul can be a little bit hard to get in the beginning but fabulous man i really love lore rune word all right this next rune word that i'm going to show you is called stealth right here again super super easy talent at i mean you can do countess runs in act one uh, go to the tower under the black marsh and you'll get these runes easily man do it for five ten runs who knows right and you'll definitely get a tau and an f i mean these are some of the lower um required rune levels i mean item level 12 you cannot beat that dude and this this is by far the easiest armor that i get rune word wise i mean tw look at the stats on this 25 percent faster run walk that's awesome 25 percent faster cast rate 25 percent faster hit recovery if you don't know what hit recovery is when you're getting attacked hit recovery lets you move a little bit more so like if you have zero hit recovery when it, when enemies hit you you won't be able to teleport away or you can't run away as easy you can't recover right so when you have a lot of hit recovery you can get out of there you can move you can attack back stuff like that you get kind of stunned almost in a way when you don't have any hit recovery so this is awesome not to mention there's 30 percent poison resistance regeneration 15 percent like that is insane for a level 12 item and the runes required number three on my list is going to be ancient pledge i think this is very very well known i i don't know too many people that don't know this uh, on the ladder so you get a three open socket shield right and all you have to do is get a route an ort and a tau and you can same thing find these super super easy look at the resistance man 43 percent cold resistance 48 light uh, fire and poison that is insane like resistance having plus 50 it's basically 50 having plus 50 and normal like that is awesome man uh 50 percent enhanced defense you know of course that helps too and uh man it's like it does hurt your mana just a little bit because you know it uh, some of the damage that you get will go to your mana but honestly it's worth it in the end man ancient's pledge is very useful early on in the game all right next on my list is going to be rhyme now i don't actually have any of those made because i'm on a sorceress right now so um i don't know i just didn't feel like making at the time i preferred ancient pledge but all you're gonna do is get a shield just like this one now it's important to note with all rune words okay this step is just so crucial to you you have to make sure that is a white item right or grayish it's kind of gray you see that at the top so for this rune word i'm going to get a shell rune and then i'm going to add in an f and boom look at that look at the difference between something just like this where it just had a block to what it is now 40 percent faster block rate that's awesome 20 percent increased chance of blocking regeneration of mana 15 percent all resistance 25 cannot be frozen 50 percent extra gold i mean 25 percent magic fine at level 20 that's awesome dude that is sick uh chance to block looks like it went up too i mean you really can't beat that all around phenomenal honestly i probably should have ch taken the rhyme over the ancients uh i think that probably would have been better for my source now that i think about it uh, but i didn't have any laying around so 
I decided, you know, why not show you guys? So look at that, man. You can pick if you like Ancients for just resistance, or you can pick the Rhyme for other all around stats. So real quick, guys, this is what happens when you put the runes inside of the wrong type of item. So right here, I put Thol, Io, and Neph, which should be black, but look what happened when you put in the wrong one. If you're absolutely not certain on something, you do not want to mess it up, especially if you get a high rune uh, or something like a pole, an um, an ist, a mouse, something that's difficult to find. You would not want to mess this up. You can look on Diablo2.net or you can look at uh, the area summit on Google. I can put that in the link in the description if you would like. But guys, please be careful. The next rune I want to show you, which is phenomenal for necromancers, uh, it's called white. So you put in dole and IO in there. And I love this one. Look at the stats, man. Three to poison and bone skills. Woo! 20% faster cast rate, 2 to Bone Spear, 1 to Golem Mastery. Uh, the rest are cool too. Um, Amplify damage helps a little bit. 10% uh, vitality, 50% uh, damage to undead. Not that you're really going to be hitting anything, but just the 3 to skills, plus the 20 faster cast rate, 2 to Bone, which I'm already going to be using. That is a lot of damage. And look at the item level, man. Required level 35, that's, that's really not that high. Like, you can get 35 by the time you're in normal. No problem. Uh, definitely, when you're getting into Nightmare, you should be at least level 30. Um, probably, you know, you're going to be that level anyways. So um, that is just top-notch gear for something so easy as a dull rune in an IO. Now we're going to get into my favorite rune word if you are low level. This helps so much, man, with resistances. The Spirit Shield. I think everybody loves this one. Okay, look at that. The Spirit Shield for Sorceress, only level 25. And all you have to do is get Tau, Thol, Ort, and Am. I mean, you can find those no problem, especially, again, in Countess runs. You'll find it if you just keep doing it. Um, you can get up to 35% faster cast rate. Two to all skills is always there. 55% faster hit recovery. That is more than half of the faster cast rate you're probably already going to have. So that, whew, that is mind-blowing. Uh, not to mention the little things. You know, you got poison damage, 7% uh, life stole, 22% vitality, 100 to mana. You know, but that's not, really not the big part of it that you're going to want. The skills, the faster cast rate, the hit recovery. Wow. Now, one awesome thing about spirit, there's a few rune words that you can do this with. You can also do it for a shield. Now, keep in mind for the shield, it does add in resistance, which is wonderful, but the strength is pretty up there uh, because I used a monarch, so 156 strength required. So you're probably not going to have that at a low level, and it's also required level 54, whereas the spirit shield is level 25. So let's just look at the resistance. Um, same thing, you can have up to 35% faster cast rate, um, and there you'll see cold resistance 35. Lightning, Poison, all 35, so a little bit of a difference there for the exact same spirit rune work. And if you hit circle, um, you can pull up your mercenaries gear. I have here the final lower level rune word I want to show you, insight for your mercenary. Wow, if you watched my last video for the Diablo 2 tips, you will know how important this one is, okay? So uh, if you're running low on mana, if you're casting too much and you're like, man, I, I can't get anywhere, I can't teleport around, I, I can't keep attacking the enemy enough, this is going to help you so much. I have level 17 on the Mediation Aura, uh, and this is from an Act 2 Mercenary. All you have to do is go to Act 2, right, go up here to this corner area, um, and just talk to Greece. All right, guys, so the next rune words I'm going to be showing you are pretty much GG end game items more than likely you won't get most of these eventually you could though so keep in mind you know there is hope at the end of the tunnel like there is so much more to do especially if you're a new diablo 2 player so this first one is going to be an awesome item an awesome item uh breath of the dying man good luck getting this okay this is going to require vex hell uh, L, L, Zod, and F. So Vex is going to be pretty difficult to get. Zod is going to be good luck. Next on my list is probably the best rune word ever made, arguably, Enigma. Now this changed the game forever. Now look at it real quick if you're a new player. Okay, pause the video and I want you to tell me what you think the best stat is. Did you guess it yet? It's one to teleport. Now, for those who just started playing Diablo, see, back in the day, every character couldn't teleport, okay? It was always the sorceress. But now, if you get these GG items, just like this rune word, uh, Enigma, you can now teleport with a necromancer, an assassin, a druid, blah, 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 right? Everything can teleport. This changed the game forever. Hammerdens now are, are magic finding, and they're superior to sorceress, arguably, okay? Some people will say they have uh, more durability and everything. 
But let's just go over the stats. Oh, uh, let's go over the runes. Jaw, Ith, and Burr. So Jaw, very difficult to find. In Burr, very difficult to find. But if you find these, man, the Ith is easy. It is amazing for your character. All right, everybody. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. I hope you learned something new in these Diablo 2 tip videos for newer players, moderate players, you know, just people who want to see something. You may or may not know these rune words. I hope my explanation of them is better. Just to recap, guys, there's a lot of rune words, but you might be thinking, why rune words? Why not just find the item? So basically, back in the day before rune words, we would just use the item. We would use the, the Tal Roshas or the IKs, uh, the Mortal Kingdom's armor or something, but now we have something else we can use. So you can use IKs or you can use whatever, right? Or the Enigma or or you can use the Chains of Honor or you can use the Tal Rosh's armor. So you kind of have a choice of what you want. In my opinion, most of the time, rune words are going to be easier than, than finding uh, a specific item, right? It's, it's a lot easier to get a specific rune because you can trade for it or the item. You still can trade for it, but I've just had more difficulty finding the GG items that I may or may not want. Not every Every item uh, late game or end game is going to be better as a rune word it's kind of your preference which is the beautiful thing about Diablo you know some people prefer a Shaco and some people prefer Tal Rasha's or some people prefer Chains of Honor and some people prefer Tal Rasha's armor right or, or a spirit or a Hodo or you know you might just want to use a Griffin for your helmet or you know whatever you want to use guys it's a style it's your style pick what you want guys and if you want to continue to see Diablo 2 tips videos, just let me know, guys, in the comment section below. And make sure to watch the video all the way to the end. Happy